up. Vic, you was almost out the door. Almost out the door. Then here come over ration ass feelers. Fit to fuck up all your plans. Yeah, I bet that when she get done, buddy, you may or may not go free this time. Cause you did kind of fuck feelers up. And then again, what the act that she doing is, the act that she's doing, I can care less how she feel right along now sleeping with Billy, of all people. But go on, we guess, I guess we got to hear this testimony. Go on ahead, fellas. So Jill up here bragging that Billy can't keep her out the house. And she talking about a takeover of brass and sales. I'm talking about that she only here for the renovation. Then she go. Why did, did you do? Whatever, the people wrote this. This ain't none of your fault. So I'm not even for the question then. Because it'll be dumb. It'll be a dumb answer. And I don't want the answer. So. Never mind. So y'all bring the bring jail in town for a limited town on it cause she on a limited contract now. She on a here here wishy washy down wishy washy here contract. So y'all bring her in the top best to take bass and sassy away from Billy and to renovate that damn house cause she don't like the color choices Billy. That's all. Really. Really. So that mean no more jail after she get done being messy. Well, I guess y'all putting all the good people on hold and giving Sherry more camera time than she needed. But okay, that's y'all choices. Well, Phyllis, I can blame some of this on um, Victor, but not all of it. Cause seriously, though, I don't give a fuck if your brother had trip. Your brother, your husband had triplets out there. You ought to know your husband touch, kiss, hug, everything under the sun. Tattoos, no tattoo feelers. I don't give a fuck if um Victor went and found this man from the other side of the or the other side of South uh, South uh, San uh, San Antica. You ought to know your fucking husband. That that was dumb on you. Now you can't blame all this on Victor not feelers. And I'm not taking your side anyways on this. I'm taking your side on this shit. But as for the bill of shit, you can go fuck yourself with that one. But, fellas, I kind of blame you for that one. Everybody know how that husband touch, look, smell, everything under the sun. How he holds your hand, how he kiss you, how he cut. And you know that this man got in your bed and, and you had warning signs. You had the warning signs. You ignored all of them. You saw that, I mean, I remember giving you sign after sign after sign that this wasn't Jack. Buying fast cars, giving um, cow money, not giving a fuck what, I mean, that man gave you hint after hint. We can only blame you for letting it go this long, fearless, but you want to blame it on Victor, though. It ain't nobody the fuck that you don't know how your, you don't know your husband as well as you thought you knew your husband. But I guarantee that would have been me. I know the way he touch, kiss, love me, all have sex with me, all that. You ought to know this stuff, fellas. And for you not to know none of this stuff, you and Bill, you and um Jack don't really love each other. Cause you ought to know your husband from the top to the bottom. And it's shocking that you let that man get along with that this man playing as your husband. And you was too foolish not to catch on with them hints that he was throwing at your ass every damn chance he got. Lord, here comes Summer coming in telling her mama to stop it and what are you doing? <laughs> oh, Jesus. And Phil, is your reputation. Your reputation. Honey, bitch, well. Honey, that been gone when you pulled your pants down and have yourself with your brother-in-law. Your reputation is gone. Say goodbye to it now. Oh, here come the bullshit. Bit the changed men. Don't tie them young months in prison and change till. Mm-hmm. For how long? Till you get out, then you walk to be, be out there to be free and be crazy again and control people alive. Oh, okay, Victor, the don't you start with that. I changed shit because you went to prison. And talking about you took no pleasure and feel this pain. Yes, the fuck you did. You sat there and actually sat there and bragged about it. And actually sat there and laughed about it. And didn't give a fuck what that woman then pain and out. You forgot about that one, though, huh? But you said you took no pleasure in that woman pain. You a damn lie, um, Victor. You just tried to get your ass out. <laughs> I got back to prison for 10 years. <laughs> but Phyllis probably didn't fuck that up anyway, so you can wrap this on up, um, Victor. 
So, Jill brought him from her ass back into town to have Billy and Kane work together. Oh, okay, that's going to work out swell for you, Jillian. Now, I guess you want them to make the money while you sit around and you ain't calling and spending and go on trips, huh? So-called trips. Now, we know your ass home with jobless until they're ready to call you again for a couple of more days. But anyways, though, for you and Carla can spend up the money, yeah, this ain't gonna work out good, Jill. Another stupid decision by Jill Abbott. Nikki, is you, did you just really just blame this all on Phyllis? Talking about she need to get over and put it in the past. Well, excuse you then, uh, Nikki. Everybody don't run to no alcohol getting drunk and get hit by cars and falling. Excuse you, it might be a little bit more harder for somebody else to deal with some craziness like that. And then you gonna have another talk about some she need to finally get over it and leave it alone. But why don't you go drinking with her then, Nick? And maybe she'll get over it for a day or so after that drink, after the alcohol wear off. You got a lot of nerves, drunk tank. Jack, Jack, you done lost the feelings you known and loved. She too busy to have herself with your brother. And apparently she don't want you to work on her. She don't want you to help her out through none of this hard time. She best the one to drown and go have sex with your brother. But apparently when you try to help her out, she take it as you trying to change her or whatnot. And don't tell her to be dramatic. So she don't want none of your help. She don't want to be bothered with you at all at this moment, Jack. But sorry that she love pushing you away. Too late, she already regret to have a sit with your brother. You, Jack, you behind, buddy. Speed on up and catch on up. You're way behind. It's time to catch up now. After that emotional breakdown, that she gonna run her ass to Billy. Of course she did. I can't wait till this shit hit the fan and it come out. And the funny thing is, fellas, you gonna take the most flat from this this whole thing. I hope you realize that. Barely gonna get half the problem, but you gonna get it all. Honey, the whole Abbott family gonna be over you. And we gonna try to kick you out the Abbott family. Just for doing this, you know that right. You gonna get hell. Your reputation you so called wanna keep. Say goodbye to it. Cause when y'all cause when this from come the tooth come out and this shit hit the fan, oh Billy gonna be happy cause he been wanting you to come clean for the longest now. So this gonna benefit him that now affair come out that you sleep with you sleep with his brother. Of course you don't want the shit to come out cause you got a reputation to uphold. But Billy can care two fucks how you feel. He wanted out and now he fit to get it out there. Jill. Stop being a hypocrite. You want your son to get his life and his act together. What about you, Jill? He get it from you. So while you telling him to get his act together, you need to be doing the same thing, getting yours together too, Miss Thing. Don't talk shit now. That's you. Billy is basically you, just the male version. So don't go there talking about getting somebody act together because you can join on too and get yours together too. Boy, y'all sure insist on putting Chelsea dramatic asses down our throat, huh? About, um, Ch Ch Chelsea wanting Connor to come see Adam in prison. Hell no, he's the baby. The hell you mean come visit Adam in prison? No, that's mean. Don't do that. Oh, my God. So y'all insisted on pushing her down our throats, huh? I fast for every time they showed her ass. I ain't got two seconds for dramatic Chelsea. I hate when she get like that. Yeah, you forgot about that loose thing, didn't you, victim? Here come Clover, come rocking her ass in them. You know she lived for the dramatics and being messy. So why she end up getting caught and bit the beggar for them journal pages? Good luck with that. You didn't gave that bitch what she wanted out of in jail. And I'm pretty sure she ain't gonna let those don't journal pages. But as soon as he get out, she gonna be crazy Chloe again. Running around here like a raccoon ready to scratch people's eyes out. And ain't nobody got time for that. So, Victor, you got that nut in charge of them journal pages. I'm sorry, Adam never ain't getting out of jail. As long as that nut got a hold of him. Anyway, though, y'all, that was the episode. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share, share with everybody. Comment. Let me know what you think about today's episode. And subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.